Hi, I just tried doing this video and it didn't work out too well, so I'm going to try another location. My name is Judith Coles and I blog over at hisunmeasuredgrace.com where I inspire women to embrace grace and perfection because it helps them to draw closer to Jesus because he is sufficient. And it's not in you, okay? It's in Jesus. So I have a question for you. Is single tasking or is multitasking better? Which, which is it? And for years, I thought that it was multitasking. But I'm beginning to think that single tasking is much better, more time efficient, and better for our use of our time when we consider that everything we do is to glorify God. And there's verses in the Bible that talk about doing things mightily. And one verse is um, in, it's actually in Ecclesiastes, but it says, whatever your hands find to do, do it with all your might. Um, and that I think is repeated in the New Testament somewhere and I didn't look that up. I think I did try at one point, I couldn't find it, but I, I'm almost sure it's in there somewhere. But um, for instance, if um, I don't work out using weights, but if you work out the way I do, you like, like, you know, make your arms strong as you're doing these different things and um, you tighten up and activate your muscles in your legs or your arm and suck in your belly to just use those muscles and help you to lose weight if you need to. And that is the way I envision, um, whether you agree with multitasking or single tasking, whichever one you're on, you're going to do things with all your might for the Lord Jesus. Um, you're not going to get anywhere in your life if you do it for all your might for yourself, because everything should be done with Jesus in you, through you, to help and encourage others to walk closer with Jesus. So, for instance, if I'm making some chocolate chip cookies, I had this problem all the time. Um, yeah, the problem of making chocolate chip cookies. But if I'm making them, I'm throwing in the ingredients, and my kids would come along and ask me something. And invariably, it wasn't their fault, but I would forget what I was doing and add the wrong ingredients or forget how much I put in of this or that. And I was known once to put in, you know, you, the amount for sugar, I put in, I use salt because my salt I get in a 50 pound sack because it's sea salt. So it's very easy to confuse it if I take the wrong container that I store them in and think that was sugar because they don't taste the same and they don't even look the same if you're used to seeing them because you bake with them and use them from scratch. And so I took the wrong one and those cookies weren't any good. And that's what happened because I was trying to do two things at once and I was listening to my children and trying to give them my that child my full attention and how many times do you do this you're in your kitchen and you remember something you need in it in another part of the house and you go walking through to that part of the house and as you're going there you see oh there's a sock I need to put away or there's a book somebody left out and I need to put it away and you see I need to dust this who dusts? but <laughs> and and on your way you see you're distracted by other things you need to do and then you get there and you're like, oh, I don't remember what it is. And that's my problem that I've come to realize that multitasking is not as efficient with my time. And my time is for the Lord, right? And as if I was to multitask. And so that it is better for me to not divide up my housework and laundry. Well, laundry, it has to get divided up. But say, for instance, if I'm writing a blog post and every few sentences I have to jump up to do something else and, and I decided to divide up my housework like that, I'm going to have a blog post that doesn't have much togetherness. It just, it's just going to be disruptions are going to, you're going to see it in what you read. And um, so what I have found is that if I do all my housework first, first thing in the morning, 
before I do anything else, read your Bible first, okay? <laughs> I'm not telling you not to do that. Um, so if you do everything first, and then you do your sit-down work, or whatever you, or you sit down to read, and instead of getting like pulled in by Facebook, pulled in by Instagram, and get distracted because those notifications keep coming and keep coming, they, they disrupt what you're doing. And if you focus in on what you're doing, that's a whole lot better. Now, what if you're reading your Bible and you have your laptop open or your phone open? There. Okay, not open. I, I open my laptop, but my phone. And, and you keep getting those notifications as you're spending time with Jesus. You are going to be distracted because you didn't see a single task. And what I am suggesting is that you skip and throw out the whole concept of multitasking and to try single tasking. Turn off those notifications. Put away your phone. Leave it in a totally another room. Mine is downstairs right now. So if any of you try to contact me by texting me on my phone or through Facebook, I won't hear you. Well, I guess I would on here. But anyway, you get my point, right? And I'm going to suggest that you try single tasking because it is a fantastic way of doing everything for the glory of God. So thank you for joining me. And I'll have something for you again next week. All right. Bye.